So as a nomadic person, we always have a bear canister. We do a lot of backpacking in bear country. So bear canisters are always good to have. In fact, some of the national parks require you to have a bear canister. So whether you're an RVer, you're a van lifer, or you're a backpacker, you gotta have a bear canister. Well, one of the things that I learned how to do with a bear canister is multi-use it to make it something more than just sitting in your van, your backpacking van and your RV, when you don't have to use a bear canister. And what did I use it as? Well, I made this thing into a solar shower. I'm gonna show you how I did it. Man, I've done so much research on solar showers. What's the best way to do it? And I come, came to find out that all the PVC pipe that people are putting on top of their vans, well, I did a lot of research on plastic and actually ABS and PVC plastic, it's more of an insulator than it is a conductor. So even if you paint it black, it'll still get warm, absolutely, but it's not really what you want. But it got me to thinking that all, if all you have to do is paint a container black and throw a pump in it, or even a hand pump, I already have something that is made of ABS plastic that's black that has two gallons worth of water. Bear canister. Have one? Heard of one? Well, we have one, and it's a waste of space in our backpacking van. It's just clumsy. We don't know what to use it for because when we are gonna go backpacking with it, it's in our backpack. Otherwise, it's just a waste of space in our van. But, so this is the Rise Pro battery operated shower. What makes this so unique is not only does it fit in the mouth of the bear canister, but it has a pretty good water pressure and it's battery operated. But the best thing is you can recharge it. In fact, it's got enough battery juice to run for one hour, which is pretty impressive. You can recharge this using a USB port and while you're editing this video, I can recharge this thing from my laptop, which is pretty cool. Um, we've used this already in the UP Quad Bit, and we absolutely love it. So if it's into the bear canister, it doesn't take any room. I'm gonna put a link right below in this video so you can kind of check it out on Amazon. I think I bought it for 30 bucks. The bear canister, of course, is reusable, and so it's part of our gear anyway. Why not use it to make a shower? So obviously, the sun isn't gonna be out all the time. It's gonna be warm all the time. So in that case, what I do is I just heat up some water and I pour it halfway into the bear canister. I only have to pour halfway. I can put cold water in the rest to make uh, three gallons, and that is plenty warm of a shower to make. The cool thing about the bear canister and of course the ABS plastic is it acts as an insulator and so it keeps the water hot for a pretty long time. So the Rise Pro fits right into the bear canister and sinks. When you want to turn it on, you lift it up and hit the switch. When you want to turn it off, you lift it up and hit the switch. You just sink it right in there. So I made two clips for the shower. One was the previous clip that I drilled in, um, but I still use it. And then one is the suction cup that comes with the Rise Pro. Um, and so I turn it on, get wet, lather, put it on, turn it off. And then when I want it on again, I mean, I just turn it back on, I clip it back here. But when I'm done and I want to put everything away, I clip it on the big clip and then just kind of keeps it from falling on the ground um, so yeah I'm like I'm ready to take a shower that my friends was an epic hot shower so why do a video about a bear canister in a shower well, it's not really about the bear canister. It's really about 
looking for items in and around your house or your RV or in this case your van and looking at them differently looking at them how can I reuse that for another purpose and there's one thing that Ariane and I have learned through years and years of backpacking is that if you can live in a 50 liter backpack for six months on the Appalachian Trail I'm gonna tell you something you have gone tiny and that's one of the things that I think that we bring to the RV world that RVers probably don't fully get I think they do but we are all about minimalism we are all about reusing and multi-purposing different kinds of gear to make it work better for you in fact that's our next video is what we've learned about purging and what we've learned about living a very minimal life repurposing your gear so yes a bear canister will work as a solar shower it's not going to get boiling hot when you sit it in the sun up on top of your roof let it sit there for six hours in, in direct sun but it will get pretty warm warm enough to take a very decent warm to hot shower we used it when we went up to the up and it was fantastic when we got off the trail and we could just make a hot water hot shower so anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video really appreciate it hope it gave you some value hit the subscribe button always hit the bell notification so you can get notified of our next video we're getting ready to paint the airstream this weekend wish us luck we'll see you guys later bye